Kelly Clarkson, incredibly successful as a musician, as a talk show host, but not good enough for The Voice, or at least she was told by that she was not sexy enough for The Voice. Told by her then husband, Brandon Blackstock. And, and this is complicated because Blackstock was not just her husband, he was her manager. Uh, so the plot thickens tangled here. web. So she wanted to get in The Voice in a bad way. She loved The Voice, she wanted to get in the show, and she asked her manager slash husband, get me on The Voice. He said that, you know, Blake Shelton's on The Voice. You're kind of like Blake in kind a way. Kind of in the same lane musically and... And they're looking for a sexier version for somebody like, somebody like, like Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah. And that was the way he communicated it. Now the question is, is that what he was told by the people who run The Voice and NBC? And if he was told that, should he convey the truth to her. Well, you honestly think that he wasn't told that and he just made that up to say it to Kelly Clarkson who he's going to marry? That wouldn't happen. A guy's not that stupid. They're dumb, not that dumb. Oh, wow. Wow. You Courtney. know that's true. Uh, to thanks. say from like, oh, hey, they need someone <laughs> sexier like Brianna, no guy would say that to someone unless he didn't hear it. It sounds right. like a suit he's, told her that he told him he's that. He's speaking clearly as a manager there, right? Regar but what Courtney's saying, manager, somebody, right, right, right. somebody from NBC or The Voice. Because he wouldn't use that wording that's right. that way. We don't right. know the detail of why he said that. This all came up as part of, uh, you remember when Kelly and Brandon were getting divorced, there was a dispute about how much he had charged her in commissions for the voice as her manager. And so it went to the Labor Commission, there was a whole file on this, and right. all of this came out during the show.